Hello, my name is Katie and today I'm joined with museum researcher Sydney and we're going to be talking all things sloth claws. If you haven't seen our previous video about sloth claws, then make sure you check it out by clicking the link in the description. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and I can also see that you've brought this amazing specimenism with you today. Yeah. So can we just start off by talking about these incredible <laughs> claws that sloths have? What exactly are they? Yeah, so yeah, as you can see on its hands and its feet, the, this is the three-toed sloth, but all sloths have these massive, really curved claws. Um, and they kind of look like the sort of fingernail type claws that other mammals have. But actually the claws of sloths are made of bone and they have a, a sheath that's made of keratin, which is the thing that nails are made of. But they're actually formed of their final finger bone. So like this bone on our hand in a sloth has evolved to be really long and curved. Um, and they use them to hang upside down from trees, which they're obviously famous for doing. I see. So you mentioned that they're bone. What makes them different to a human bone? So if one broke, what, what would happen then? Yeah, so they're exactly the same as a human bone in their sort of like their basic structure. It's just the okay. finger bone. But sloths are really interesting in many ways. But one of the ways is that if they break a claw, um, like completely off, they're actually able to regrow it, at least partially. Um, whereas if we were to break like the end of our finger off, we wouldn't be able to regrow it. Um, I see. Yeah, because I, I guess they're so important for their survival in the wild. Um, what exactly would they be using them for then? Um, how, like, how do they help them survive in the wild? Yeah, so sloths, like I said, are obviously famous for hanging upside down in trees and they rarely descend to the ground and they spend their whole lives up there. Um, and so the claws are this really, really specialised adaptation that enables them to do that. Um, so they use them for hanging upside down, for moving, for kind of reaching out and grabbing leaves, which is what they eat mainly. Some species of sloth actually use them to fight each other, which is something that people might not know. Um, but obviously because they do have this really specialised structure of their hands and feet and they actually have they don't have five fingers and toes like we do they only have three in this case and then the two-toed sloth has two and they have these massive claws it then obviously means that they struggle when they come to the ground mm. um, and they can't really walk like a like any other mammal right. would so they have their like they're obviously extremely crucial for their life in the trees but then they have their disadvantages too <laughs> whereas if you've ever seen a sloth trying to walk on the ground it's not it's not a nice sight. You can feel a bit bad for them. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. So I'm just looking at this. So these ones are a lot longer. Why is that? Because the uh, is this the back? Yeah. So these are its legs okay. and these are its arms. Okay. Um, yeah. So because sloths use this very specialised method of locomotion through mm -hmm. the trees, they hang upside down, um, and they basically all their locomotion is sort of driven by their arms, which are really long. Um, so they can kind of reach out and grab another branch and move to it. And they have really, really strong and specialized arm muscles and arm tendons and like all their shoulder muscles um, are really well developed and really strong to kind of help them be optimized to, to hang in this way and to move through the trees. Whereas their feet, I think, are more just used for kind of stability. Um, but all their joints are very flexible as well, which helps them to do this too. Ah, uh -huh, okay. And is that a lot to do with their, their limbs as well, just kind of all being adapted to this lifestyle? Yeah, yeah like their, their hands are really specialised and they have these very strong kind of, these big claws and they're very like hinge-like right. um, fingers and toes, but then all the rest of their joints are super mobile, which kind of enables okay. them to reach and kind of twist in the trees. And they have a really long mobile neck as well, as you can oh. kind of see, especially the three-toed sloth has an extremely long neck. That's, it. That's a yeah. really long neck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then kind of like a, quite a small head yeah. attached to yeah. it as well. And do we know much about the evolution and um, why they evolved to be like this? Yeah, so this is actually a really, really interesting story. Most sloth species that have ever lived are now extinct. Um, so, you know, there's sort of the famous giant ground sloths that lived sort of during the last ice age. 
Um, but so there's all this sort of extinct sloth diversity. And when you put the two living genera of sloth, the three-toed sloth and the two-toed sloth, when you put them in that context, um, you actually find out that they're quite distantly related to one another, but they both look similar and they both hang upside down in trees and have these, this really specialised morphology. Um, and actually they've evolved that ecology and that morphology completely independently of one another, wow. um, which is one of the most incredible examples of convergent evolution, which is when two species have evolved to look similar, um, despite not their common ancestor not looking like that. Um, and the reason why we think this is, is because we think the ancestors of sloths were all specialised for digging, um, and they had these really strong bony claws as adaptations for digging. Right. Um, and so the common ancestor of, of probably all sloths um, had this ecology, and it kind of meant that there were then sort of limited evolutionary options for them to kind of go down in terms of their ecology. And so it's led to both extant species of sloth doing this same really bizarre, <laughs> really wow. cool thing, but sort of yeah. an amazing story. Yeah. Um, just even down, to, yeah, down to the upside down part yeah. of it all, which is, yeah, it's very cool. They're very yeah. cool animals. Yeah, and all evolving to be the same is yeah. absolutely fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. Um, but thank you so much yeah, okay. for joining me today and teaching me all about sloth claws. If you've enjoyed learning about sloth claws, then let us know your favourite facts in the comments down below. In the meantime, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more content from the Natural History Museum.